Hello and welcome. Got an email recently from a company going by by Roris. They basically said, hey, we got a laser engraver. Do you want to try it out? And I said, well, you know, I already got two of them. I don't need a third, you know, so no, I'm okay. So no, 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 no. You're going to want ours. Well, I don't know. It'll do a apply in one cut. Well, that changes everything. Send it on over. And here it is. This is the BE-100. It is probably the most expensive laser cutter in my arsenal. So we will see what it can do. Now that I got the box out of the box, if I can unbox it. Unbox it to get it together. See how it goes. Well, right off the bat, you can see that your dollar's going somewhere. Uh, we have a nice packet here. Most of the little laser cutters I've gotten, it's a little, little recycled paper brochure of assembly. This, they ain't messing around so far. All right. Aluminum excursion. Pretty normal. All right, so every part's labeled A, B, E. D, B. So I'm actually probably going to have to pay attention to the instructions that I put this thing together. Safety goggles. This is probably the laser itself. Nope. Brackets. Uh, thumb screw, eh? Oh, this is going to be good. Laser, thing, power. So this looks like an anti-static bag that you'd find in like hardware and stuff, but it's just the power cord. Of all things, I don't need to think that needed to be an anti-static bag. Just throwing that out there. Symbol the frame A, B, and C with four screws. You know what? I can probably figure that out. There's A, B, not C, A, B, C. No, it's okay. Let me switch from A. is going to go down. B has no limit switch, so I don't think it matters. Writing, lettering, ruler, whatever you want to call it, it's going to go up. So far, assembly is going way too easy. They uh, taking the time to lay out each screw into each bag makes it quite simple. And then they also labeled each little foot to know where to put G's versus where to put H's. So little things like that make it go pretty quick. Look at this beauty. It uses a drag chain. Most of the uh, laser cutters you're going to see, well, laser engravers, sorry. I mean, technically they're for engraving. You can cut with them. But anyway, most of the ones you see, they just got a cable hanging out, out in the, the ether out in there. First one I've ever seen actually using a drag chain. That's pretty impressive. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's little details like that. Because, I mean... Yeah, you could probably just have the cable hanging out there and it's not going to make that big of a difference. But I mean, the, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a nice thought. So the other nice thing, motors are labeled X-axis, Y-axis. Pretty good idea, I'd say. Pretty, uh, pretty impossible to mess that up. Now, it could be the reason for the drag chain is just because of the substantial cabling they got on this. But I, I don't know. Yeah. It's nice either way. All right. Well, it is all together. Um, still loving the drag chain. We also have another rail here. One of these ball bearing CNC rails. This isn't... That's not a cheap way to do it. I mean, we're talking professional level stuff here between that ball bearing rail and the... Uh, 
and the drag chain. The other thing is every other um, laser machine I've used doesn't use the USB-C. It uses that square, um, I think it's a Firewire. You know, it uses that square old printer type USB cable. This uses USB-C. So I can use the same cable as I charge my phone with. So I don't need a special cable for it. It's just, just great. Next thing is the adjustment for the height of the laser. You know, it's... It's not a it's not a series of set screws you got to move and be a nightmare. It's it's a simple it's a thumb screw. It's just so much better. Makes life easy. Yeah, I mean the cords in the way a little bit, but it's still better than how you would well how I've done it on the other machines that I have. The only thing I'm not sure about yet is the uh, setting the the height of the uh, laser. They give you this thing. So 5 watt, 10 watt, 20 watt, 30 watt. I don't know if that's where you set it depending on how thick your material is going or where you plan on using the laser. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So they give you somewhere in here um, basic settings on where you should have your laser or where you should have your laser settings on depending on what you're doing. Now I, I can't fire this thing up in the house without... Uh, getting in trouble so to the garage we go all right machine is on and ready to go it says it'll cut 10 millimeter plywood in a single pass not half inch the other thing is this isn't your typical plywood this is uh, what they call baltic birch so usually usually when you think plywood you're not talking about a 10 ply hardwood you're talking about a cheap interior piece of you know three layer plywood. All right, so we're gonna do a circle. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little accuracy test. And it's gonna be a two inch outer diameter circle and a one inch inner diameter circle. So. All right, let's go. Hard to measure. Yeah, I'd say that's two inches, huh? Trying to grab the inner because it made a little lip there in the ply. Well, anyway, it's too hard to measure, but I mean, it's that's an inch if I've ever seen an inch, you know. I'm cutting out a template for a uh, little wire thing I'm making. It's a spindle to hold electric wire. Basically, I'm making a a wooden a wooden spool for wire. It's the silliest thing I've ever made. But here we are. So the template's just going to be a piece of cardboard. This is one pack. I don't know why it beeps. It ain't done. Oh, is it running off the cardboard? It is. Somebody should learn how to size this. Now I'm framing. To see if this little flap of cardboard I have will work. Ooh, it's not. All right, well, now I know. All right, resuming. So this thing is going right through that cardboard. It's like a hot knife through butter. I'm kind of wondering if I should have sped the, the feed up a little bit because I could probably go twice as fast as it's going now. But, hey, it's already most of the way done, I think. So I will let it finish. Alright, making some templates here for the spindle I have to make. You'll, you'll see in a second. Using scissors as some workpiece hold down, working pretty well, and just cardboard. I'm making a, another template here. This is going to be a little bracket I'm going to make. Just to give you an idea of the accuracy it can do, this is a little tiny airplane that I was uh, making for the kid. You know, just out of cardboard. I was going to wrap it in like saran wrap or something and see if it actually flies. But I messed up the little measurements there. But anyway, you get the idea of what it can do with, I mean, a simple piece of cardboard even 
I mean, look look at the detail on that thing. You're not you're not cutting that out with an exacto knife. You know what I mean? I had to make a little swing for a little elf on the shelf Christmas uh, decoration, so I used the uh, little laser machine there to make the chain. It came out pretty well. It also made my little my little swing base, little little brackets, and then you know extra chain just for whatever reason. But yeah, the thing's working great. All right, it's uh, been about two weeks since I've uh, started using this thing. I've used it for all kinds of things. Most of the time, it's little arts and crafts things the lady wants me to do around the house. But I've been using it to make um, templates for all the metal work that I do. And the thing has just been, been great. It's easy to set up. It's quick. It's reliable. And it's accurate. It seems like they're, they were worried about quality of the machine. They wanted it to be well built and they they did not disappoint this thing it's it's strong it's beefy i'm kind of limited on space out in the garage and i have to move it around quite a bit and it's 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 just sturdy basically no complaints it'll do everything i need to do and like i said having other laser machines i haven't touched them because this thing has worked out so well for me so let's talk safety for a second when you're using this you have this protective shield around the laser itself, which is fine and dandy. But if you're walking around while it's doing its thing, you can't look this way at it, right? It's the light output is very harmful to your eyes. I would, I'm no, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I would compare it to welding without a welding helmet. You know, it's just you do not look at it. Um, they give you these glasses to wear, you know, when you're walking around doing stuff. And the way they fit is quite surprising, too. They, well, you can't see it, but I'm putting them on. They hug your face quite well. It blocks out all the light from your side vision, which the other glasses that I have don't. They don't cover that much and no sides. Like, even the glasses. It seems like they went full care on making sure you got the best of everything you could with this thing. If you were to get one, I don't think you're going to have any complaints about it. So I'm going to see if they make anything else. I don't know if they do. But if they make like a uh, a 3D printer or something, or maybe even like a little CNC router or a CNC uh, mill or whatever, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what other type of maker stuff they they produce because I'm gonna buy it because uh, this thing I'm ha quite happy with. Well, anyway, that is it for now. I'll put a link below to the product. Feel free to check it out. Got any questions? Let me know. I will do my best to help you. All right, see you later.